Hey, Asaw Knives. My name is Rich, AOK -okay Knives. So this is the final um, video for the SRM retrofit. Yep, I started yesterday and I got it done today. I put new scales on my SRM folding knife with the axis lock. It was a challenge. I learned a lot. This is what I'm telling you guys. Take that knife you don't like, pull it out of the drawer, take it apart, look at it, put it back together, look at it, take it apart, look at it. Think about what you can do to make that knife better. And if you can't think of anything to make that knife better, get rid of it. Um, but I'm sure you can think of something. So I had the SRM pocket knife that uh, I bought because it got decent reviews and it was junk. Still junk. But now it's got my fingerprint on it. I took the old scales off, took it apart, looked at it, decided I was going to put black walnut uh, scales on it. So I used the old scales, these ugly plastic scales. I mean, garbage. I use those as a template and I put wood scales, black walnut wood scales on my SRM. The action's actually better, but something happened through that process where I, I yeah, there's no detent down there whatsoever. So, it may be because I missed something on the scales, the original scales, that I didn't translate over to the wood scales, which was in itself a pain in the ass. But, so, this knife, I can actually do a reverse flick with these scales. Now, it won't drop, there, it dropped, and it's in. Check it out, guys. Look at that. Not bad if I can't say so myself. Even got the clip back on there. I need to probably buy some new tools specifically for this process if I was to do it again. I don't know if I'll do it again, but what I will say is I have a better appreciation for the mechanics behind one of these knives. I really do. Because, you know... I, I, I pride myself as somebody who can pretty much make anything I want. I, I, I with, with limited tools too. Like I don't have a big mill, milling machine. I don't have presses. I don't have, uh, you know, CNC machine. I don't have any of that stuff. I just do it with the eye and, and with the hands. Those babies. Yeah, so it's, there's things I would change. Like this right here needs to go away. It's it, it keeps me from um, being able to really get a full rotation on the thumb hole. All right. So I would change that. There's just a lot of things I would probably do. But you know what? It's centered back up really nice, if you can see. And um, what was I going to say? I know it was a good point, but I can't think of what I was going to say. I mean, like, I would probably want a little bit longer hardware next time so that I could maybe get a little chunkier because I had to really get it as thin as these bad boys. You know what I mean? And when you're working with wood that way, it's tough because your wood wants to crack on you and it wants to uh, snap and split and all that. And I can't believe I didn't have to make another scale. So, but I was being very, very gentle. Yeah, so, you know, like, I'm trying to be careful, but like, see, it's even worse give there, but it's stronger here. It's crazy how much stronger it is there over that plastic stuff, just going to wood. Um, I used, I used the original uh, lanyard back spacer thing but I made one out of wood. Um, I decided that I thought I liked the black 
highlight and it already had like a little plastic thing and you know some jibbing on it and it was it was just easier just to smack that bad boy back in there but i tell you i won't take this to a knife fight no way this sucker might crack in my hand i don't know though maybe if i get an easy one you know what i mean like a like okay so i got a rule in in, in the network where there's no adolescent knife fighting none at all you gotta you gotta turn 18 boom you're in you can practice all you want when you're a kid you can do whatever you want but you can't do it in the network in the league so you turn 18 you're free you get in that network take a couple pokes get yourself some experience get your guard up you know what i mean and next thing you know you might be the champion of the heavyweight fighting network you just don't know but i really like it man i think it's something that i can talk about and have fun with and um take it to maybe i'll take it to the super bowl party this weekend i'm not sure i don't know if i'm that proud of it but it looks good on video when you have it up close it still looks pretty damn good i gotta be honest yep i i it's not going to win any fit and finish awards whatsoever, but if you put the right equipment and materials in my hands, I'm going to make my own knife and it's going to sell and I'm going to be a multimillionaire. And then I'm going to pay a visit to Leong Ma and I'm going to tell him, I want a knife fight. I'm not serious. I don't, I don't have a problem with Leon. Leon, 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 Ma. M A H, yeah, he's he's a good knife designer, that's for sure, real good. Yeah, so I like it. I like it a lot. I hope you guys like it. I hope you might have like kind of learned something or got a little motivation to get out there and uh, let it rip. You know what I'm saying? So stay out of trouble, be a gentleman, uh, and uh, you know, don't throw anything away. Don't do it. Turn it into something cool. A-OK -OK Knives, my name's Rich. Deuces.